welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at and a listen to this guy right here. This is the Studio Projects VTB1. Uh, the VTB1 is a single channel microphone preamplifier. Um, it's uh, sort of a desktop unit, although it's about a half a rack space wide, so you can probably sit it in a little rack uh, shelf. Uh, it's a solid state pre, but it has a 12AX7 parallel circuit that you can sort of continuously blend in. So you can either get a sort of purely solid state sound to transistor based sound from this preamp, or you can blend in a real tube uh, circuit with uh, real tube harmonics, real tube distortion uh, sort of into the path. You get 60 dB of gain in the preamp side, uh, or in the pre side of things, in the input side of things, and the output. Uh, you get an additional 12 dB of boost. Uh, this guy retails for only about $150 uh, and less at some places, but it's a highly functional uh, preamplifier. For starters, this is one of the only standalone single channel mic pre's at this price range that has an insert jack. Uh, so this is great for if you're putting it in front of an audio interface or uh, mixing board that doesn't have insert jacks. Uh, this is a great way of correctly introducing compression uh, into your signal before you actually sort of hit your recording media. Let's just take a closer look at the front panel here and all the, all the functionality that we get. So as we work our way from the left side, we've got phantom power engaged right now because we're talking through a uh, handheld condenser mic. Uh, there is a high z line input here for instrument, uh, and you select that by pressing this button. And you can see a little light comes on. Uh, we've got our input gain right here. And we've got a high-pass filter, which is nice. Cuts out some of the low-frequency content, some rumble stuff. It's great for recording acoustic guitar. This is our tube blend circuit. Now let's give a listen to this and watch the output metering right here. Actually, before that, let's look at the meter. Uh, this is a nice little, uh, it's a five-segment LED meter, but it does feature both output and input monitoring. So right now we're ma monitoring the output. If we switch here, now we're monitoring the input, and you can see exactly how hard you're hitting the front end of this thing. Let's switch back to output and play with the tube blend. Tube blend is what brings in our 12AX7 into the signal, uh, sort of warms up your signal a little bit. Rabbit ears warms up your signal, subjective obviously. But let's give a listen. So we're cranking it up and now we're introducing more tube sound into our signal here. And you can see that the output level climbs a little bit. It's sort of... Uh, you know, summing a little additional gain from this uh, this this parallel tube circuit here, uh, so you can sort of compensate for that with the output level control all the way over here, and then finally we've got a little phase reversal right there. Let's take a quick look at the back here. So you can see here's our insert point. Here's where you'd uh, use an insert cable or Y cable to introduce uh, compression into the circuit uh, after the the input stage, but before the output stage. We've got a balanced out, and we've also got a quarter inch output here. And here's our mic input. It's not locking, which uh, sometimes concerns me, especially with units that deliver 48 volts of phantom power, but it, uh, it is a secure jack. Uh, and then we'll finally, we've got a mic impedance selector on the back. And when it's out, uh, we're at 200 ohms, and when we push it in, we're at 50 ohms. And you can hear how the tone changes and how the, the level drops when we do that. And that just makes this unit sort of well, uh, suitable for an even wider range of microphones. So let's listen to this guy on a variety of sources and microphones. First, we're going to listen to some acoustic guitar played into a CAD uh, pencil condenser. Okay, and now let's uh, sing some stuff into a blue spark, a uh, large diaphragm condenser microphone. Is it the way you're speaking? Is it because I'm peeking? Twist. 
fist in your face, thumb in hand. But you gotta have your own space to play in a collection of glass chickens. Oh, Bernie, what a garden! Now let's listen to this guy on Guitar Cab with a couple of guitar mics. We've got a, a CAD Tryon 7000, which is a passive ribbon microphone, basically the lowest output of, all, of any of the microphones that we're going to be listening to through this guy. Let's listen to it with a, um, a dynamic mic, an Audio-Technica instrument microphone. And now finally, let's make use of that uh, high Z input and play some bass directly into this guy. So to my ear, and obviously this is all subjective, um, I preferred the sound of this guy, or, or the two sources that I thought sounded best were the guitar cab um, into the Tryon 7000 ribbon microphone uh, and the bass direct. I really like the sound of the bass direct into this thing. I wasn't quite as excited about how it performed on vocals and acoustic guitar, uh, but it never really sounds bad. Um, I just think it's best suited for uh, electric guitar, electric bass. Um, but it's a really well-made little unit. Uh, it retails for 150 bucks, which is pretty affordable. You get an insert. It's pretty great. Um, a, a very uh, lo lots of flexibility on this unit, um, and a cool sound. So that pretty much wraps it up for the Studio Projects VTB1 single channel preamp with blendable tube circuit. You've been watching GearWire.com, and I'm Owen O'Malley. Goodbye. <laughs>